in a society Satan blinded you Trapped in this matrix Playing tricks on your mind Everybody trapped Everybody trapped Trapped in this prison Trapped in this matrix Everybody trapped It's time to get free What is the V? It is free You are here because you know something What you know you can't explain It's driving you mad You have felt it your entire life Something wrong with this world It's driving you mad It's driving you mad Well, hello, hello, hello. Um, before I went to bed last night, I just was uh, praying and I felt the Lord said, look up some of the things I was looking at. And as you look at the picture of this, Dr. Strange and CERN, because CERN is in the news lately, they um, have reactivated their uh, facility. And on top of it, there's a new Dr. Strange movie coming out. And it looked pretty ironic between Shiva and... Um, dr strange's new uh movie and um i as i was praying before i went to bed i was like yeah, what, what, why why lord am i seeing this you know what 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 is it uh what is it you're trying to speak to me about this and you know i felt the word madness so then i looked up and i realized this new movie is uh called dr strange madness and there's a lot of madness going on in today's society whole lot of it um more of it than people can famine um and there is a famine it's in the word of god um i, I i'm gonna keep on uh yeah i'm getting ready to share them and then i'll put the link up here um i'm not gonna keep saying it there's a falling out in the word of god there is and in particular in this nation and this nation only and tonight on tonight's show I will be showing that along with all the other things that are going on in this world. Last week, I took a break from showing some of these things and exposing some of these things. The Lord wanted me to just rest up in the word and to just give teachings like I did. Uh, we're, we're, we're living in madness for sure. But, um, you know, the attacks are real. Uh, I, I know a few of you I've talked to. Um, you guys are getting a lot of them. I'm getting a lot of them too. My wife's getting a lot of them. And it's only going to get heavier on those attacks as those days come closer because people's faiths are being tested and tried. And what they have faith in, they're realizing they should have never had faith in because, um, just because. Jails are full and churches are empty. That's a perfect way to put it. Um, you know, so many people want to bring up, they know who the Antichrist is. They know who the Antichrist is. They know the Antichrist. But the Bible says there's many Antichrists, many, many Antichrists, not just the one that everyone has a suspicion or puts numbers together and say this person is an Antichrist. You know, if we're doing that, um, um, if I say it right, uh, Gematria, if we're doing that, it should be for Greek and Hebrew because things in the Bible are right. But people use English Gematria. And um, Biden's name has nothing to do with the kingdom of God. Um, someone shaking a hand has nothing to do with the kingdom of God. But I tell you what, Gematria in the Old Testament, New Testament, it does have some um, symbolicness with the 153 fish that were caught in, in, in the New Testament compared to the book of Ezekiel. That has a lot to do with it. Um, you know, when we're looking up these um, I was watching actually Jacob Israel last night, and I was glad to see that he used some um, interlineal Bible to kind of teach people John 3.16's real true meaning. Uh, it's the cosmos. And I was glad to see some people actually give some defining to words because we should define the words of what they meant back then because their 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 language was so much more complex than ours. So much more complex than ours. and. Um, this language we have is a simple basis of a language. Look, before we go any further, 1 John 2, 22 says, Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is an antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Anyone that doesn't believe in Jesus is an antichrist. Simple, to the point, 
It's what scripture says. People are getting away from showing scriptural background on any of these YouTube channels anymore. And I contemplated deleting my whole channel. I contemplated it. Not, not to hurt anybody, but I contemplated it because I'm sick and tired of false. I'm sick and tired of people thinking that they know the Bible. None of us know it. God's mysteries are a mystery. The Holy Spirit reveals. We're not these super mathematicians who know every single thing. We see every single sign. We should be alerted to it. But like 1 John 2.22 says, if you deny Jesus Christ, you're an antichrist. 1 John 2.18 says, little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now there are many Antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time. 1 John 2, 22, like I said, 1 John 4, 3 says, And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God, and that is the spirit of the Antichrist, whereof ye shall, or where whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. 2 John 1, 7, for many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Many, many antichrists. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm not deleting it. I should have wrote my sermon today, but I did not. I'll get around to it. I usually do it on Tuesdays, Sundays. Whenever Sunday comes, Sunday's here. Normally I write my sermon on, but um, I just felt that I was going to focus on other things today, praying and doing the thing that the Lord revealed to me last night at 12.05 p.m., and that's what I was going to focus on. Um, I'm going to put this in the chat before I get up and uh, put this on there. Um this is the first ad that I'm going to show here because CERN is back in the news. And uh, let me get me off the screen there. CERN's giant leap for science. The revamped large. Here, here this is the thing that they do that makes, you know, dark matter and smashes atoms together. The holy grail of particle physics. The discovery of a new fundamental force in nature could be a step closer. Step closer. The ALHC this is the world's most advanced particle accelerator. They reopened this just a few days ago. A vast machinery that smashes atoms together to break them apart and to discover what is inside them. Ten years ago, it made one of the most significant scientific discoveries of recent times, namely the existence of the Higgs boson a subatom, um, subatomic particle without which many of the other particles we know about would not have mass. Look, in this whole thing, they're trying to discover where the creation of everything came, the meaning of life. They're trying to do all this. They're trying to point everything away from what actually is biblical truth and it is jesus it is jesus yeah great there is a lot and there's a lot of there's a lot of antichrist in today's world and i'm I, i'm one of the very few that also say this that i believe science is the biggest they do signs and wonders science also is um, with Elon Musk doing the Neuralink. I did that a few months ago, doing the Neuralink. You know, all about putting some chip in your brain and, 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 and just showing some signs and wonders that we can bring some paralyzed people back and that we can control everything through our brain like we have a smartwatch. I, I'm always going to be a big believer that science is a son of perdition, but that's just a personal belief of mine because I only believe it only because of all the scientific wonders that they do and it speaks of signs and wonders that's just a personal belief and i respect everybody's belief but we're also in a day and time where people don't respect each other's beliefs anymore it's just like they get this this sourpuss attitude about everything about everything 
Look, they're looking for dark energy. They're looking to open portals. So, you know, I I, I get this revelation last night. Why, why is it, Lord, that you're telling me in the middle of a prayer to look at CERN and to look at Doctor Strange? Why? And, you know, I noticed that this new movie coming out May 6th, Doctor Strange is standing in a circle with many arms, just like Shiva the Destroyer, many arms standing in a circle, a portal standing in the midst of it. And, you know, they deal with opening portals and dark matter, just like CERN does. And there was one of these, um, I don't think it was this one, but there was one of these that I looked up where they actually said they're looking for the God particle. They're looking for the God particle of the world. Why? I have no idea why they'd be looking for a God particle. But they're trying to play God on a daily basis. They're trying to play God. It it's really it really freaks me out with the things that they're trying to do to the human body, to the human anatomy, the things that they're trying to do. And um, this was the one I think that said the God particle one. I'm gonna put this in the chat too. This was a whole nother one too about CERN. I'm gonna share that, but don't worry, I'm not. I'm not quitting. I just said, you know, I had that moment where I thought about I'm gonna step away for a moment because it's just everyone gets so mad at me for speaking. Anyone that knows me when I preach, I have my Bible in my hand. I'm reading scripture. That's all I'm doing. I'm not giving you opinions. I'm not giving you anything than biblical. And I believe that we need to stick to biblical. And here, the mysterious glue that holds planets, galaxies, together, search for exclusive dark matter, begins at CERN. They're searching for dark matter. They're searching for things to open up these portals. They're searching for things when they should be searching for God. What is dark matter? Um, basically... They say that it's galaxies in our universe rotate so fast that the gravity generate by their matter theoretically should not hold them together and they should tear themselves apart. However, they are still intact, making scientists speculate that this is a phenomenon. Dark matter is about tearing apart, so they want to tear apart. They want to tear apart to see why things don't tear apart. Look, they put dark matter seems to outweigh visible matter roughly 6 to 1, making up 27% of the universe. Of course, these are all theological and, uh, and well, not theological. They, they, these are all uh, astronomy. These are all, when we read the book of Daniel, it's like what? Nebuchadnezzar seeked, he seeked the scientist. He seeked the astrologers. But then he goes to Daniel, and Daniel seeked God. Daniel seeked God. He said, I don't need these scientists. I don't need this. I don't need that. Yep, the great deception. And tonight, I'm going to be revealing how I really think we are in the great falling out. And I think it's really hitting fast in 2022. I think it's hitting extremely faster than it did in 2021. I think it's hitting extremely faster than it did in 2020. And there's a new number out about how many people have been. Yeah, on the Twitter thing, people are calling him their savior. People looking for, look, what 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 was it not too long ago? It was, um, they were looking to, Zelensky was the savior, and now it's Elon Musk is the savior, and they keep on putting this in news titles. You know, they're looking for these saviors. They're looking for this. They're looking for that. They're not looking to Jesus. Now, look, that picture I showed of Doctor Strange, he literally looks like he's standing the same way Shiva, Shiva the Destroyer is. Here's some of his attributes. He has martial arts, okay? not mar Martial arts ain't evil. But some of the formats of how, just like yoga, they do some of the moving around. They do some of the things. It's all about your your your, your chi. It's all about your energy. 
But I'm not saying that, you know, using martial art moves to take someone out in self-defense is bad because really fighting's been here since day one. You know, he has flight. And science is trying to be able to make soldiers fly by putting exoskeletons on them, making them fly, making them do this and that. Look, also he has protective shields. Our protective shield is Jesus Christ, not what magic can give you. Astral projections, illusions. Satan is the master of illusions. Wind project, uh, um, projection, who is the prince of the air? Satan. Flame projection. Magical energy blast. Hey, I used to be big about comics and... Uh, and things like this. I'm so big about this stuff back in the day. Crimson bands of, um, however you say that word, telekinesis, hypnosis, telepathy, teleportation, time travel, and CERN's trying to do that. They're trying to time travel, immortality. Didn't we have a stream about a month or two months ago that talked about how through Bill Gates and the transhumanism and Klaus Schwab, they're trying to bring immortality. They're trying to take away infant infants to have all these disabilities. They're trying to take that away. They're trying to do this and that. We're trying to make a man and woman immortal, that they may never die. The only one who has the power of life and death is God and God only. But this movie, this movie... And I've seen the first one, but I haven't watched a lot of movies in a long time. I've stepped away from movies. But here, he's trying to fix the frailed equilibrium of the multiverse. And actually through this movie, what I was reading, he meets an evil him. He meets an evil him. Just like you have a Christ and an Antichrist in the world. You have Christ as the good one and the Antichrist as the bad one. Trying to go to a multi-universe to, to take out him evil self and to, and to look. This is exactly the same pictures that CERN shows you of dark matter. Trying to have everything in a format of doing exactly. It, isn't it just a little symbolic though that CERN just reopened about three to four days ago, this huge one, and they're bringing dark matter. And, and, and about 10 days from now, there's a new Doctor Strange movie where he's in the same, same stance as Shiva. Same stance. Got even a circle around him. It's all in front of us. You know, like I kept saying about the Matrix, it's all in front of us, everything that we see. Everything that we see. So I wanted to pull up the Strong's Hebrew coordinates for mind. Mind. Because what we're going to get to next. Now, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm going to give it a chance anyways. Noose. Mind. Understanding. Reasoning. The mind. Reason. The reasoning facility. The intellect. The God-given capacity of each person to think. The mind, mental capacity to exercise reflecting thing, reflective things. Romans 12, 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by a renewing of your mind. And we got people trying to bring a new definition to mind. A new definition to mind. And it's all with Elon Musk. With the Neuralink. He wants to have... Um, he, he, he's looking for the smartwatch employees to join this team. And the company's brain trip, uh, chip is the future of smartwatches and phones. So you can tell your brain, I want to answer my phone call. I want to answer my phone call. I want to answer my phone call. You straight up tell your brain, I want to answer my phone call. Th think about it. The things he's doing here. I don't want to talk to spam risk. That'd be cool if I can actually tell my mind ignore uh, spam risk, but I don't want to be part of this, nevertheless. This is a joke. Now, look, this Neuralink thing, he, he's big about this. He's big about it. And he's even putting CNC machinery 
He's comparing it to it. I used to operate CNC machinery. It's very complex. Lots of ones and zeros, ones and zeros like you live in the Matrix. Bunch of ones and zeros. Bunch of everything to the ten thousandths of an inch. And that's no further than you could go. Yeah, Musk is... People are looking at him as a savior right now. <laughs> I want to send you a peer review white papers of technological and biological. Yeah, you got my email. Send them to me. Um, I took my email off of uh, my page, though, because what was going on with remotes page and stuff, I was just protecting mine a little bit. You know, if someone knows, uh, hacks your email, they, they get pretty much everything. And uh, it made me think about having it on there. And I was getting a lot of weird emails myself, too. I was getting a lot of, lot, lot of sexual emails. So it really made me wonder who's following me. Who's following me? The Jezebel's everywhere. She is everywhere. Look, Elon Musk not only wants to probe your brain, he wants to probe Uranus. That's a joke. Uranus. But he wants to he wants to do this along with probing your brain. Now, when I was watching Jacob Israel last night. I was already thinking about these things a little bit, and he brought this up, that Uranus or Uranus, it actually stands for heaven. The meaning of it in Greek mythology means heaven. They want to probe heaven. They want to probe your mind. Why? Because the kingdom of God is inside you. Let's probe your minds. Let's control your mind, and let's probe heaven, and let's not look to the things that are happening and stay completely blindsided. See, I thank him for bringing that up because that brought me something totally different to bring up. The Lord brought something totally different to my mind than what he had got. But look at Colossians 2, 12 through 25. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who hath raised him from the dead. And you, being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven all your trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross, having spoiled principalities and powers. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of a holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days, which are the shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshiping of angels, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind and not holding the head from which all the body by joints and bands having nourishments minister nourishment ministered and knitted together increaseth with the increase of god wherefore if ye be dead with christ from the rudiments of the world why as though living in the world are ye subject to ordinances touch not taste not handle not which all are to perish with the using after the commandments and doctrines of men, which things have indeed a shoe of wisdom and will worship and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honor of satisfying a flesh. Now look, back to the Dr. Strange and Cern thing. Deuteronomy 18, verse 9 through 12. When thou art come into the land which the Lord God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or daughters to pass through the fire. Let's pause for a second. Abortion. Let's not make them pass through the fire of abortion, or that useth divination, magic, 
or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out before thee. And a lot of people will say to you, that's Old Testament. That's Old Testament. But it's spoken of in New Testament. In verse 20 of Galatians 5.20, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variances, emulations, wrath, strife, sedations, heresies. People are idolatry. And they're putting science so high. They're using science as a witchcraft. We got to be careful with this. We got to be careful with this. Just came in what scripture being read? We're reading Galatians 5:20. We did Deuteronomy 18, 9 through 12. We did Galatians 2, 12 through 25. And then I'm closing out with this one. Because I got a longer show tonight. This was just a little quick revelation of what the Lord gave me about. about 12.05 in the morning when I was praying and he said, just look up these things. I didn't even know there was a new movie coming out and realized, and look, Dr. Strange is standing in a circle with many arms, just like Shiva the Destroyer and CERN's in the news. CERN's in the news. And, and you know how they're putting all this imagery right in front of us. Oh, you're welcome. Now look at Ecclesiastes 9 verse 3. This is an evil among all things that are done under the sun. That there is one event unto all, yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil, and madness is in their heart while they live. And after that, they go to the dead. There's people all the time trying to communicate to the dead. There's people all the time telling you, Miss Cleo here can tell you what, your loved ones saying. I'm not saying people go to hell for watching Doctor Strange. Hello, brother. I'm not saying any of that. That ain't my job. I just, I'm telling you that I feel that the Lord revealed to me in prayer. Look up CERN, look up, look up Doctor Strange. And then I didn't realize there was a new movie coming out and he's standing in, you, you see the picture, the thumbnail. He's standing in a circle with many arms, just like Shiva the Destroyer, standing in a circle with many arms. And that's, that's crazy. It's enlightening with the things that we see going on. Science is everywhere. Uh, yeah, the boards. All types of things. Palm readings. I'm really scared of people that can tell you your dreams because I really don't see a lot of dream interpreters of today's world. But you know what? Yeah, it hadn't updated on your end yet is all it is. Some of the times the likes don't update uh, until you back out and go back in and stuff. It just hadn't updated yet. Tonight at 7.15 p.m. Eastern, it is... Let, let me click over and actually see what it um the title of it i don't even remember my title so give me a second because on thursday we're doing the bible and star wars how it relates it's something i've been on my mind a long time tonight is the falling away destructive things and is america done the pictures show a drag queen church how they're doing a drag show shows babies the dollar the hundred dollar bill Shows President Biden. So many things going on. So many things going on. But you know what? We got a good God that never forsaken us. We got a God that has never forsaken us. No matter what, he's here. No matter what, he goes before us in the battle. As at the end of this thing scrolling on the bottom, I put that because, you know, they like to copyright anything you share. They can't do nothing with that because that's the U.S. Constitution there. Copyright law. 
They try, but they really can't when you got that up. Exodus 14, 14, the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. The Lord is fighting for us. I'm going to someday this week write my sermon. I don't know when yet this week. Normally do it today. But I needed to just take a breather and uh, focus on these two shows tonight and reading the Bible. Time to watch this. Yeah, Jesus is our rock. It is. And I'm going to be showing you all the things they're doing, what they're saying that is allowed in the church. There's a difference. We're not to judge, but there is righteous judgment. And if someone's going inside the house of God, which we are the house of God, but a building that is ordained for it for us to congregate, and they're teaching these blasphemies, that is something that is to be called out. Maybe write Sermon on the Mountain. That wouldn't go with the series, what the Lord did give me to write about. Flesh versus spirit. Um, I just didn't get into doing it today. Eventually I will. I got a lot of Bible verse written down. He won't he won't take it out of my mind. Yeah. Necromancy is forbids it fully, yes. Like Amy Sam. Necromancers are very close to like vampires at the same time, too. They're very close. Do you think it's a sin to talk to our dead loved ones if you're expecting? It is. Um, read in, uh, it's 1 Samuel, I think. 1 Samuel, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. 1 Samuel, um, Saul goes to, it might be 2 Samuel. No, it has to be 1 Samuel because by 2 Samuel, Saul's dead. 1 Samuel, after Saul had or Samuel had died, Saul goes and talks to a lady that does necromancer and all that. And um, and even Samuel, you know, the spirit comes up and says, you have sinned. You've sinned. You know, you're not supposed to awaken the dead. You're not supposed to talk to the dead. You're not supposed to do this. He went to a medium. Yes, Galatians talks about flesh versus spirit. There's a lot. There's a few other ones too. Um, he given me that talks about a lot of things. Spelled right, wrong. That's why I stay out of chat. That's why you need to stop acting like that. You need to stay in the chat. You're letting your emotions get in the way. I just find myself saying I miss you. That's not really. That's not saying like you're waking the dead. That that's not awakening the dead. We all have loved ones we 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 miss and we love. Um, you know, we lost a son. I think about a lot of the things, what he could have became, what he could have done. It's not calling upon him. If that's all you're doing, don't don't beat yourself up over that. That's that's a normal Ecclesiastes chapter three, there's a time to mourn. And some of that mourning, you know, we'll have our days of strong. And there's some people we miss that it might be a year since we've mourned them. We might get a thought when their birthday comes around or 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 it's like uh, my dad in particular is dead. Whenever I see fried green tomatoes, it was one of his best things he loved. He loved them. And I ate fried green tomatoes over the weekend. And I got a thought of my dad. It wasn't wrong of me to have um, a thought of my dad and to say that I missed him. Um, there's things that reminds us of people, good things. And um, don't beat yourself up on that. That's a whole different ball game. just saying to the air. Because when you're saying it to the air, you're talking to God. I miss this person. And the Holy Spirit will comfort you. So just know there's two differences between necromancy and summoning and 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 going to mediums compared to what you were saying there's two different ball games there it is a complete human reaction and biblical reaction to miss loved ones and then calling upon them with a medium is completely that's against god's will uh, you know some of the times oh you're welcome some of the times 
when the Lord knows you're missing them, have you realized maybe like a, a song came on or, you know, maybe you get a, a smell of some food cooking that reminds you of them. And that's God just saying, look, I can, I can let you remember. I, I can give you those things through the smell of, you know, fried green tomatoes in particular and brings good memories. Yeah, New Age Christian stuff is witchcraft too. Be very cautious with that. I know some people in my church that tell me, I'm not going to mention names, but there's some of these churches teaching Enneagrams, Enneagrams, E-N-N-E-G-R-A-M, Enneagrams, and it's like a it's like a pentagram. Almost the same thing, just got a few more lines in it than a pentagram. There's churches teaching this stuff. There's churches getting away from the biblical doctrine of opening that Bible up. I'd had a thing a while back called Fables. It was a two-part. One of them was Fables of the Churches. And it was talking about a church that I was associate pastor in. And when I left it and decided that I don't want to be part of these governmental churches anymore, I just want to be part of what God has ordained in the streets, online, in a little gathering. And if 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 it's only a little gathering where two or more are gathered, it's all that matters. But I was listening to the guy and he was talking and he was talking and he was talking. And I, through 45 minutes, I realized, where is any Bible verses? Not a single Bible verse was said. And then the Timothy verse came up in my mind about watch out for fable tellers. Watch out for storytellers. Now, it's okay to tell a story if you back up with Bible. If, if you tell a story that relates to something in the Bible, the Holy Spirit would uncover that and reveal that to you. But I love you all. May God bless you all. At 7.15 p.m. Eastern tonight, I will be on doing um, a big show. Wednesday is going to be Ephesians chapter 3 Bible study. And Thursday is going to be the Bible and Star Wars, how it relates. Um, I'm going to only pull up. It's going to be like the Matrix one I did, but I'm not going to show videos and do things. I'm only going to pull up two little things. And then the rest of it's just going to be reading scripture and talking about things that was in Star Wars and um, just kind of, you know, unveiling that a little bit. So I love you all too. Keep your heads up and uh, hope to see you all tonight. And just know every single one of us is under attacks right now. Maybe one heavier than the other, but we're all under attacks right now. And Nature Girl, that is actually really interesting. Discern. Put a put a apostrophe in there. Cern. Discern what CERN's doing. They're doing a lot of wicked stuff. A lot of cult stuff. See you all tonight.